Hi, I'm Juan Moreno with Cook Compression, and in this video, I'm going to explain what a compressor valve does and why they're a critical component in reciprocating gas compressors. During compression, suction and discharge valves control the flow of the gas in and out of the compressor's cylinders. On the suction stroke, differential pressures cause the suction valves to open and gas to flow from the suction line to the cylinder where the gas is compressed. Spring forces then close the valve, creating a tight seal to prevent reverse flowback to the suction lines during compression. On the discharge stroke, differential pressure opens the discharge valve and compressed gas flows from the cylinder to the discharge line. Again, spring forces then close the valve, sealing against reverse flowback into the cylinder. The key to properly regulating gas flow and maximizing reliability depends on the precise timing of the valves opening and closing. Simply put, without valves, gas compression wouldn't be possible. The continuous impact of the cycling open and close combined with high temperatures, corrosive debris, liquids, and vibration cause a lot of wear and tear on a valve. This is why valves are historically the number one cause of unplanned downtime. To withstand this extreme environment, they must be precision designed with durable materials. And to maximize reliability, features such as lift, spring forces, and port design must be customized for each application's specific set of conditions. At Cook Compression, we center our approach to valve design around our customers' needs. We work fully to understand each customer's goals in unique operating environment before engineering a valve custom fit for that application. If you would like to know more information on how to improve valve reliability, Watch our on-demand webinar at cookcompression.com or contact us to schedule an on-site training.